request um, actually on the Totally Kate um, Facebook page to do a Janeway hair tutorial because there weren't very many out there. So I'm super excited. I do Janeway hair on myself all the time. I really like it. The Up Janeway hair, better known as the Bun of Steel, had several, several, several permutations. I don't think they ever did it the same two episodes in a row and sometimes it varies within the episode. Um, so this is not an exact recreation of any of those styles. This is just something that if they continue to do her hair up, this permutation probably would have happened, okay? Um, so it's a really nice updo with a bun and it looks very Janeway. Here's what you're gonna need for the Janeway hair. You're gonna need just your regular brush, whatever you use is fine. A rat tail comb, the kind with the little teeth and the thingy, the pick on the end. A bunch of bobby pins. You're gonna need an elastic. Um, I use the little tiny clear ones, but you'll want to choose something based on the weight and thickness and color of your own hair. You're going to need a bun rat, and you can make your own, I think like out of an old pair of pantyhose. I bought this one at H&M for like $3, um, but if you don't have H&M where you live, you can look up how to make a bun rat out of a pair of pantyhose, and it'll show you. Um, sometimes they're also called like sock bun things. I don't know, so you could look that up. Um, you'll need something to hold your hair out of the way. And the most important ingredient in the Janeway updo is hairspray. Now this particular hairspray, I highly recommend. It's Salon Graphics Freezing Hairspray Mega Hold Styling Mist. Out of a possible 10, this has a hold of 10, okay? So it was really cheap, it was really lovely. I got it at, I think, Walgreens. So, um, crucial. Uh, last night, I worked out with my hair um, in a bun, and I slept with it in a bun. This is day-old hair, um, so it's kind of volumized, and I uh, put some dry shampoo in it before I went to sleep. So it's got a little oil, a little sweat, a little dry shampoo. Um, it should be ready to work with. I'm going to brush out just the ends. You don't want to ruin any of that lovely volumizing you've done by working out on it or sleeping on it or any of that stuff. Just make sure you're ready for business here. Okay, that should do it. Now comes the first part of the Janeway updo, and that is the teasing. Now you're going to have three main sections for this hair. It has three parts. So the first section, you'll want to take the first third of your hair, like a little half moon shape on the top of your head, across the top of your head, this, okay, so like this. Not like half up, that's too much hair. Um, just a little bit on the front. Make sure you get about the same amount of hair all the way around. So you'll have just a little thing from your head. Don't go as far back as your crown, especially if you have thinner or smaller hair like I do. All right, now. Here's the fun part. You're going to tease it. So, I don't know if you know how to tease, but I'll give you a brief lesson. Take a section of hair. Take your hairspray. Spray it. Let it dry for a hot second. Take about halfway down your hair and start to rat it. Once you got a little rat going, you take it down your hair so it gets as close to your scalp as you can get it. I like to take it all the way down to my scalp if possible. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the remaining sections of the top of my hair and then come back. Okay, so now I'm back. I've teased the front section of my hair. Now we're gonna do a little maneuver that I like to call the pageant poof, okay? So you take the hair that you have so recently teased excellently. Make a little piece of hair like this. You twist it just a little bit, not a ton. You put it down in the back like this. Take two bobby pins. 
and make a little X in the back with the bobby pins so you make sure your hair is secured on both sides and it can't slide or go anywhere. Now you take the business end of your pick and start to kind of mold the front of your hair to make it the Janeway poof. If you feel like the sides aren't even or you're just really precise, you can do three pageant poofs, two on the sides, one on the top. But the effect should be basically the same. Okay. Looks pretty full. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because you're going to come back to it when you're done with the other parts. Okay, now the second section of hair, I'm going to need to turn around to show you, I think. Go. Okay, so you're going to want to make another little horseshoe down at the bottom here. So leave a little at the bottom, a little hair at the bottom, a little hair on the sides. So you'll want to take a little horseshoe here, brush it out, Make a high ponytail. Take your elastic. Make a high ponytail right behind where your pageant poop is secured. Okay, so you should still have a little bit of hair down the bottom here and on the sides. I'm just going to have this here. Now you take your bun wrap and put it on the hair like this. And now you make your sock bun. Now you can find about a million tutorials on YouTube for this. Um, so I'm not going to show you because it's more difficult for me to turn around and do this. So I'm going to make my sock bun and you can make yours and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back and my sock bun is done in the back. Let me show you. It's not perfect, but the next step hides a multitude of flaws. So here you go. You see the sock bun. Now you've got your little last horseshoe of hair. And this is the last portion, what we're gonna do. You divide it into two sections. And you'll have an easier time with this probably. If your hair is long, unless it's really long, then you'll have a lot of diminishing returns on it. But basically, what you'll wanna do is take a piece like this, make sure it's smooth, wrap it around the back of your hair and settle the piece to be pinned around your sock bun. Okay. This may take more or less bobby pins, depending on how long and thick your hair is. And you do the last, the same thing with the last section. You're almost done. If you have shorter hairs in the back, you might want to take your hairspray. 
make sure the hair is all kind of stuck together. Pretty nice. Cross it over the back of your head. Bring it around and pin it. And underneath your sock bun. Now I think I just dislodged some pieces. So you want to go back in, fix anything you might have dislodged. And I'm going to need to look at it better than that, but. Um, you get the process, which is kind of what I wanted to show you. So I'm all pinned. Um, it's not entirely perfect, but you don't have to be entirely perfect. Just pretend that you had a red alert and you got thrown from your command chair, okay? And plus, give yourself a break. You don't have professional hair and makeup people on you like white on rice every single time you take a breath. But this, this is pretty good. This is pretty good Janeway hair. Um, you know, take the little pick end and make sure you get all the little things. If you got any um, scalp holes in the back, look to make sure you don't. And if you do, you know, you can take the pick to those. And that is how you do a fair approximation of the Janeway Bun of Steel. So, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, uh, I guess message me. And remember, use hairspray the Jane way. I made this. No, really, I did.